I want to show you a simple example of how to use the account modifier and combiner functionality in the professional service tools library in Dynamics GP. This is an easy way to combine information from multiple accounts into one account or create a new account and move transactions from that old account into the new account. So let's take a look at it. The first thing you want to do is open up the professional services tools library, select account modifier combiner and then next it'll bring up this screen here. So there's two things you can do here. You can either create a new account and take transactions from an old account and move that into the new account, or you can take transactions from an existing account and move it to another existing account. You can do it one at a time, or you can import a list of accounts. So let's take a look at both ways. So first what I want to do is look up an existing account and move that to a brand new account. So let's take a look at an account here. Here's a new account here. I'm going to select that, and I'm going to move it to a brand new account. So this will do two things. It will create the new account based on the parameters of the existing account and then it will move all the transactions to that new account. And It's easy to do. I'll specify the old account and the new account and hit convert. So what it did is created a brand new account and then changed the reference for all the transactions in the system from the old account to the brand new account. So now when I run my reports or I look at any existing transactions, it's going to have the new account information. Now let's take a look at combining a large number of accounts. So what I did is I created an Excel spreadsheet that has the old accounts in column A and the new account in column B. And what I want to do is I want to take all the transactions from department 88 accounts and move them to department 00 accounts. So let's take a look at how you would do that. You want to make sure that you save this as a tab delimited file. Here's a report that shows some transactions that are in my cash expense account with department 88. Now what I want to do is combine these over to the other account, which is department 00. So let's do that. And then we'll go back to the professional service tools library and we'll select account modifier combiner again. And this time we'll select import. It brings up two new buttons here. We're going to validate the accounts first and then combine them. So I'm going to select my tab delimited file here. It's going to go through and make sure that there's a new account for every old account. And here's the exception report. We have no exceptions, and you'll need that, no exceptions, before it'll proceed. Now we'll hit modify. It's going through and modifying all the transactions. It's taking all the transactions that were in department 88 and moving them to department 00. Now if we take a look back at these transactions, run the trial bounds, we can see that those transactions have been moved from the department 88 account to the department 00 account. The account modifier and combiner tool in the professional service tools library is pretty handy. You can probably make use of it either one count at a time or using a large list. It really works pretty well. It takes a little time if you have a large list, but if you haven't tried it, take a look at it. I'm sure you'll find it helpful.